from within a constructor, we can call other constructors with the this and super calls. In a class hierarchy, the super call will call a constructor in the parent class. In this case, there are no arguments, so it will call the no argument constructor in the parent class. The this will call another constructor in its own class. In this case, the no args constructor in the same class. Both the super and the this call can only be used from within a constructor, and only as the very first call of the constructor meaning we can never use both of them at the same time in one constructor because only one of them could be the first call. So let's say we have a class person and we're going to give person a name and getters and setters for this name. And actually a constructor that's going to be using this name as an input And I'm also going to be adding a default constructor. All right, so simple class person has a property name, has two constructors and a getter and setter for name. As you can guess, our student is going to extend person. And I'm going to remove name from here. Also remove the getters and setters, of course. And instead of saying name, that's no longer possible. I'm going to be calling the super constructor name. So I'm going to say super and then I'm going to send the name that was passed in as an argument to student to the constructor of person. And I'm going to do the same thing right there. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to run this in debug mode. So I'm actually creating a new student with name and age. And I'm going to run this in debug mode. So instead of the play icon, I'm going to click on the bug icon. Might be even safer to click it here so you know you're really starting the right application. There we go. And it's now going to pause as soon as the execution hits the student line. And well, that's actually pretty much the first line, so it stops right away. And then you see a bunch of buttons right here. This means step over and I would go to the next line inside my main method, which there is not. This one is the one I'm looking for, step into. And this way it's actually going to jump to other classes and showing the code that's going to be executed right there. So I'm going to click. And as you can see, it brings me to the student constructor with two arguments. And as you can see, it's going to call super with name. So I'm going to hit step into again. And that takes me to the person constructor name. And actually in this case, that shows me something I forgot namely adding some code right there, because I would definitely want to go ahead and say this name equals name, like this. And then I'm just going to step over the code. This time it actually skipped the line I just added because it was already compiled previously. But the next time I'll run it, it would set it. Anyways, there is no output, so it doesn't make a difference right now. My main point is that you can actually see it jumping from the child class to the parent class when you run this. Let me show you how we can use the this constructor. So instead of here going to be calling the super name, I'm actually going to be calling the own constructor in the same class. So here I'm going to say this, and I'm going to send the name along. I'm going to specify the age argument along, and then in here, I'm just going to specify a default student number zero. And right now, if I'm going to step into debug mode, it's going to do a few more steps. So let me show you. Again, I'm going to start the app in debug mode. So watch what happens. I'm here calling the student constructor with two arguments. Sure, I'll step into. And here it's calling the student constructor with three arguments. So if I say step into, you can see it actually jumps to the other constructor, which is calling the parent constructor. So if I hit step into, it takes me to the person class. Then it's actually going to set the name and then right now it's going to jump back to the constructor with three arguments, going to set the age and the student number. And then next step, it's back at the end of the two arguments constructor. Now it jumps back to my main method and then it's done.
As you can see, the arguments go between the parentheses after this or super. If a constructor doesn't take any arguments, there are just two parentheses there. So we can use this to call another constructor that's in the same class, and we can use super to call another constructor that's in the parent class. There's actually a little bit more to tell you about super and inheritance, and we'll do so in the next video.